Hey everyone, just had a crazy weekend at Springfest and also a crazy Monday and was going to actually do this view just slightly earlier, except my entire area ran out of power, right? It's been raining like crazy, uh, if you probably heard, but it's just so, so much rain and so much storming and yeah, there was no power until now, so now we can actually review the decks. Now, there's some pretty crazy decks, especially from I think Manila, right? It was uh, Manila and Sydney, so Philippines and Australia. I did participate in the Australia one, yes, so we can talk a bit about that. But um, there will be a much more deeper discussion or, or funnier discussion about Australia uh, in another video that I'll be releasing very soon with the WCC guys. So let's get started. First off, we have Manila Standard. This was the top four. These graphics are from at Fuzzy Paradox. Go check him out. He, he's, he does some great work. And uh, here, first place, Seraph Snow, Lauren Roll, and Maha Nirvana taking first. The Lauren Roll, interesting one. But then we have more interesting ones too, right? Second place, we had Alestial, Grateful, Bruce, and Magnolia. And uh, yeah, yeah. Blackwing Alestial, I assume it is that, has been at least uh, seen some tops in some of the regions, yeah. Third place, we had Bab Sagara, which is wow, okay. Uh, Magnolia and Maha Nirvana, and then in fourth place we had Magnolia, Bastion, and Gravidia. Now we actually, unfortunately, don't have the deck codes for these lists, but if you know, I think some of them might show up in VG Top decks, so you might want to check out there, right? And then in V Premium for Vanilla, we had a Jewel Knights, Night Rose, and Prism list coming in first. And then in second place, we had a Jewel Knights Luard, and that looks like an Aqua Force. So is it like a Tetra, Tetra Drive? Is it? Yeah. Uh, the Luard, I actually rate Luard, to be honest. I think Luard's pretty good. I was testing Luard like a couple of nights before our tournament, and I was really sad. We were actually missing some cards from it. I think it was Apocalypse Bat. I used to play Stable Luard. Uh, but yeah, after testing that, I was like, wow. Luad is still really good, and uh, if you are, if you're not careful about it, right? If, if you don't respect it enough, it will still wreck your face. So, I really, really want to play the wide instead. <laughs> uh, third place, we had Prism, Night Rose, and Gurgit. So, pretty meta lineup right there. And in the fourth one, we had Himiko, uh, Luad, and Vanquisher. So, Prism only showing up twice, and only one Gurgit. Wow, right? It's interesting. Um, and then for premium, this is the interesting spice. Look at this. So top eight for premium had three Mega Colony, but also three Link Joker, and then three Kagero, uh, two Grand Blue, two Narukami, two Shadow Paladin, and then one Pale Moon Genesis OTT, Nubatama Adventure Police, Never Grappler, Geek Chronicle, Get Very Nature, and Neo Nectar. So a lot of one-offs. But let's look at the top four. All right. So first off, we have the Order Colony Chaos. Chaos in a Raging Form deck, sure, right? Pretty cool. We've seen some Raging Forms already in the past couple of weeks, but then we have like Chaos, Old Colony for sure. Yeah, pretty insane. Uh, and then in the second place, we see this Nova Deleters? Deleters, yeah? A Nightmare Doll list. Then in third, we had the Grand Blue, uh, Regalia and Vanquisher. And then in fourth, we had the Beatrice OTT and uh, a Narukami list too. So let's kind of look at some of these lists. We got the top three decks, at, uh, top three, at least some of the deck codes. So first one we want to see is like the Chaos one. So they yeah, have Chaos, Bengard, Bengard Lang. Nice name. But yeah, uh, the two, only two frees there. And running two clothes. This should be clothes, yeah. Uh, but the rest of it's pretty interesting. You know, two Bikun as well. Wow. And then also running the one carbon. Um, but yeah. To, uh, one, this one's the one that unlocks, I'm sure. Like, <laughs> wow, well, okay. It's still got the old, uh, the old art there. And then Stride, you know, two Deluge, four. Actually, going is it four Universe, really? That's a lot of Universes. And then four Blue Ball. So, interesting list there. Came first in the first place team. Then we had the Aris of Victor in the second place team. Uh, we've seen some Nova Grapplers all in like at the SCA region. I think that's the, the one region where bang, a lot of the Nova Grapplers are really popping up. Maybe it's because of the robots, right? Maybe they like Nova Grappler robots a lot more than like Dimension Police robots. But I, I did see a lot of Dimension Police at the Australian um, Australian uh, tournament. So yeah, so pretty cool uh, Nova list there. And then we also have the, this Link Joker James, right? 
he took it to legalist and just went ham uh and i think this is actually pretty cool because this is a list that gets buffed by premium collection uh it's just that you don't get to play premium collection in this tournament but after this tournament slap in some of the uh the new cosmic dawn dragons and uh the list becomes pretty cool i i guess it's also got some um like nice cool things where you can't like, move cards around right with, with great all and they can really catch off opponents and just deleting vanguard and things like that can uh mess with some people but yeah i think it's pretty nice it's cool cool uh and then uh, when the last is we want to see just the, the the vanquisher list right it's just uh you know running some of the new fronts the extra defense it's just standard vanquisher and you know it's good old thunder stuff right so pretty cool uh let's go to sydney though i can talk a lot more about sydney um, first we had the standard listings for top eight. We had eight Magnolia. There is, it's actually just so meta. Everyone took their, uh, meta, meta sleeves, right? And just went, or meta decks and slammed eight Magnolia and six Gravidia. Uh, this is pretty much what the, the, the Western community is all about. Then we had three Kyrie, two Prison, two Barrow Magnus, one Nirvana, one Bastion, and one Bruce. So heaps of... Look at this, look at this pie chart. This is perfect as a pie chart you'll ever get. That's pretty much it, right? Then in top four, in first place, we had Team Singapore, taking it with Gravidia, Mahanavana, and Magnolia. And then second place, we had Please Call the Kraken Wagon, taking Magnolia, Kyrie, Gravidia. Then two and a quarter, we took Magnolia, Kyrie, and Gravidia. And then the WCC team with Derek and Simon and Toby, BSF 2019 champions, taking uh, Seraph instead, but then also taking Magnolia and Kyrie. And if we just check back, right? Every, if you brought a Kyrie, right? If you brought a Kyrie, you made it to top four. Oh, sorry. If you, made, if you brought a Kyrie, you made it to top four. So you should have brought a Kyrie. At least that would have helped you a lot to make it to top four. But yeah, Team Singapore did take it with the Nirvana, um, and this was his. This was, I think, Gabriel's Nirvana list. Pretty standard Nirvana list, but I think this is yeah, pretty much just the only Nirvana that was really taken to the top tables. Uh, and again, it's just a pretty good team tournament deck. Uh, then in the then in the V Premium, we had six Premium Triangle. Uh, pretty much all, uh, not not all Prism actually. A six Bermuda Triangle, five Gold Paladin, five Grand Blue, two Dark Irregulars, and then one Narukami, Royal Paladin, Nubatama, Kaguru, uh, Geek Chronicle, and Great Ninja. The Geek Chronicle was actually Steam Maidens. I heard he went, I heard he went undefeated in Swiss, uh, and I know the Nubatama was the uh, was the, the Hanzo build. Uh, but then let's look at who won. So we had Brick Brick City uh, taking it home from the WA team, Western Australia team, taking it with Prison. Uh, Prism, Vanquisher, and Shahrot. And then the second place was WCC $80 Nexus. That was our team taking it with Gurgit, Night Rose, and, uh, and Prism Riviere. And if you don't want to know what an $80 Nexus is, that will be in the vlog. So you can go check that one out. Then in third place, we had Team Copas with Melody, Gurgit, and uh, Night Rose. And then fourth with Over to Pass with Prism, Night Rose, and Gurgit. Uh, so actually, if, if you brought a Gurgit, then you did not make first place. <laughs> uh, this, I think the finals was streamed, so you can go watch that on our channel um, on day one. And it was a very, very tight finals. I'll, I'll put it like that. Right, I'll put it like that. Um, I will, let's look at some of these VPREM lists. And apparently my, I was playing the Night Rose and the, uh, the deck code is actually wrong. So I'll just let you guys know. Um, but yeah. Here is the winning Vanquisher list. This is the one that beat me, right? This one's running actually just eight fronts, which is pretty cool. Uh, eight front win with Book Vanquisher, and yeah, very, very scary list. It just kind of pops off and you just die. Um, very sad, very sad, unfortunately for me. Uh, then in, um, this is my list. So I think on Fuzzy's thing, it says FH8P. It's actually FJ8P, but it's a pretty, st pretty standard uh, Grand Blue list. You know, it's just, uh, it's not that, I don't think it's any anything defining because it's just, it's literally just grand blue. You've probably been seeing it the whole, the, uh, the whole time. And um, yeah, yeah, I, probably still, probably still relevant uh, post ban list though, at least on July 8th. It's definitely not a list that is a clan that is uh, uh, on the, on the hit list, I think. So if you guys want it, 
go uh, go check it out. I did really poorly with this list, Lou, but you'll find you guys will find out more. I think uh, in in like a report or something. Yeah, I did really badly. I'm a bad Grand Blue player, but I also hate this clan. Right? I, I, I sorry, Solom. You know, going having to GS this five times is. Yeah. I don't know. Life's hard. Uh, uh, this is this is Mark's Prism Riviere that he brought. Um, unlike everyone who's playing Solemn's uh, Solemn's Highlander build, Prism he went with uh, Solemn's Prism Riviere build actually. So uh, yeah, really really cool. He talks about it a bit more later on, so go check that out. Then the third place team brought a Melody list. We haven't seen Melody in a while just because Prism has been so popular. Um, this list was kind of interesting. It took three Ellie, but it only took two of the cannon. And uh, it's kind of, I don't know, I, I'm, a, I'm a bigger fan of cannon than Ellie. Ellie's pretty cool, right? It's pretty defensive. But, you know, cannon kind of s speeds up your game a lot. And if you don't get your cannon, at least like one of it, uh, you, you kind of get kind of stuck with like maybe not an insane like melody melody t uh, t like turn not turns but you don't have like all the pieces that you want um but you know the cannon like oh sorry the ellie was used just to kind of add to the to replace meep pretty much so before you could run four meep and i could only run one and he just replaced that with the ellie uh, you can i think most people replace it with like sedna right but interesting interesting this one we had to play in the top four game and it came down to the wire it really came down really really close between like gurgit versus this but you know calvin was able to get the win just through attacking the right things right doing the right moves uh, and then finally, let's get premium. All right, premium. So top eight premium: five pearl moons, four grand blue, three mega colony, three aqua force, two genesis, two Bermuda triangle, two narukami, two dimension police, and one shadow paladin. Um, so it's like one wild, wow, crazy. Uh, then again, first place team Singapore: order colony, Highlander, and Beatrice. And this was really, really good. Team Singapore making it back to back. Uh, first place, really good results. And then second place was BSA don't hit damage triggers. Take, taking Order Colony, Nightmare Doll, and Vanquisher. Uh, and third place was the WCC team with Derek, Toby, and Simon. This one was Davis, Nightmare Doll, and Highlander. And then fourth place was the Melbourne Feeding team with Regalia, Nightmare Doll, and Order Colony. So once again, Order Colony, very, very popular. Uh, and also in Night Middle, like some Night Middles, but you know, Highlander this time in, in two, two of the top top placing teams, right? Uh, first, let's kind of look at the uh, the Vanquisher list though. I remember this list. This was, I think, Kitten Pants, and uh, he, he did really well in the BROs. And I remember this one because it was a 12 crit Vanquisher deck back then, or like, like a max crit, it was like an 11 crit Vanquisher deck back in BRO. So. That really, you know, I just remember that, and I think I saw him at the, the top table as well. Yeah, uh, this is the, the, the heavy crit vanquisher list, so that's pretty nice. And did very, very well for him. And then also the WCC Aqua Force list. It's a Wirab Alter list, because Wirab also ran a similar Aqua Force list. But yeah, this was just Thavis. Uh, I think we've seen a few Thavises now, but yeah, this one just took it to the third place. So good job on Toby. And again, I think Toby talks a bit about this list uh, later on. But yeah, that is it for all the regions now. Springfest is officially over. We'll probably do a kind of big look at it um, in, a, in the next couple of days. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, we will do some more Springfest content, um, but in general content as well later. And I'll have we'll see you guys then. All right. Bye. Oh, no.